Zoran, we just received a high-level communication from command. What is the subject of the communication, Tron? It concerns the Marzano strategy of generating and testing hypotheses. I have been directed to give you an update so you can implement the strategy into your next educational communica. Let's get started. High Command wants you to use the Marzano strategy of generating and testing hypothesis when delivering instruction. Go on. This strategy we will call GTH requires students to as what if questions when planning investigations. Investigations in science? Not just science. This strategy can be used any time a student is trying to problem solve. What are the processes in GTH? The processes include system analysis, invention, experimental inquiry, decision making, and problem solving. Students are engaged in activities that help them to develop testable questions, conduct observations, and using information to make logical conclusions. How do teachers help students to be successful when using this strategy? One way would be to help students learn how to develop good questions and to help them narrow their topic of research. So would a question like, what is the universe, be a good question? Sorry, the question is too broad. The student would need to narrow what specific component in the universe to study. Even from here, the student may need to further narrow the focus. What else do carbon and non-carbon based instructional units need to be aware of? Asking students to explain their hypothesis, or asking students to make predictions is a way to use this strategy. This process will help students to develop an understanding of what they are researching. In addition, the teacher can judge the level of understanding of the student. Anything else we should know? Carbon and non-carbon based instructional units need to monitor and redirect when students develop misconceptions of the content. If this happens, teachers need to set up lessons that will challenge the students thinking and guide them away from the misconception. Wow! That is a lot to keep in mind. You are correct. What kind of activity can be used in the classroom? One activity would be to role play. Have students act out the characters, events, or materials encompassed in the concept, like have students act out a character and see how they would respond in a situation. This sounds a lot like inquiry-based learning. You are correct. Inquiry focuses on how students generate and test hypotheses and predictions. Inquiry-based learning can be used in any content area, not just science. Is there anything else I should know? One more idea. Use good questioning strategies throughout the lesson cycle. This includes when students ask questions, involved in investigations, analyzing, or presenting their findings. At all levels of instruction teachers need to ask students to explain their thoughts and defend their thinking. Thanks Tron. I have to go to the bathroom now. I'm leaving. That was an odd way for this to end.